This video is sponsored by K-Speed. Visit them on the web at brisbanekawasaki.com.au. So this is our stock Kawasaki supercharger pulley. You can see it's rusted to hell. It's uh, in really poor condition. Less than 100 hours on this and less than a year old. That's what it looks like if you ride in salt. So we've got it teared, we've got it on grams. So that's 667 grams, that's stock supercharger pulley. So comparing that to the K-Speed billet aluminum pulley, 293, so less than half the weight. Now let's take a look at the K-Speed idler pulley, 290 grams. Let's compare that to the stock idler pulley. 265 grams. So now I wanted to take some measurements for you. Here's our K-Speed pulley. And it's hard for me to measure this, you know, exactly. So I'm gonna be measuring it like this. There is a lip, so the actual width is gonna be a little bit less than the actual width will be a little less. So this is reading at 108, let's just call it 108.6, it would round up. So that's from lip to lip. You can see that this pulley's got, the actual belt driven surface is about a millimeter less. So if that's 108, then let's take a look at the stock pulley. The stock pulley from lip to lip is 100, yeah, 111.5 millimeters. So let's just say that this is 108. So this is three millimeters larger, your stock pulley. The weight difference is also quite uh, apparent when you hold them. Here's an old exhaust gasket. All right, now let's check our stock idler pulley. Our stock idler is 77.78 millimeters, and this new K-Speed one is 87.2. So anyway, that was just a look at some measurements for the OEM and K-Speed 108 millimeter supercharger pulleys along with the associated belt idler assemblies.